no vandals here. These teens are spraying a message to the community through street art. It's really fun just getting to paint and getting to do something fun and educational. It's learning outside of the classroom that focuses on cultural and community connections. Teaching history using a modern art form such as aerosol, aerosol art. Um, but uh, like when we when we do the concept development, we we talk about the important things that make up the community. You know, such as like how do you get along with other cultures? How do you uh, how do you promote peace? How do you promote um, a healthy environment? And then using the art to to spread the word to the community that this is this is how you show. Um, like such as peace, unity, uh, love, and respect. Washington Middle School students spent a month on the mural teaming up with 808 Urban and other street artists. The project has even etched a few reminders onto these young artist palettes. One of our rules is that not to swear. It helped me to like work together, to learn to work together and um, respect each other. As a local nonprofit, 808 Urban began when Prime opened up his home and his walls to neighborhood kids. When it's guys like myself, as well as my team, we all got in trouble too. We all, you know, we all been there, done that. So for the kids to, to see somebody who's who's been in their shoes and, and flipped it, they've they've done something positive. I opened up my house, built walls for the kids to come. I would I would feed them, I would buy them paint, and just share the graffiti knowledge in a constructive, you know, in a constructive way. 808 Urban has put color to other walls in the community. Now his team's tagging a new word to youth island-wide, empowerment. Uh, the at-risk youth that we work with is just finding that sense of belonging and then uh, empowering them to speak up about their issues and, and addressing it, not, not in a violent way, but, but in an artistic way. Reporting for Pacific Network, this is Alyssa Navarez.